Yeah, don't worry, you're going up to Scotland, but you're taking the fast train, Edinburgh, then straight up to Aberdeen. Aberdeen? That's, that's, that's twice, twice the distance that you said. Yeah, it's fine, it's all right. It's, you'll be there in four hours. You'll come back in four, five. You'll be back for five o'clock. Oh, it sounds a right old journey, this. You do realise it's snowing up there. Yeah, it's only a light sprinkling. It's not. You're talking as though it's ten foot deep, right? Stop off at Scotland. Just get some coffee. Have a little walk up to the castle and back. Catch the train. Is twenty minutes in between or thirty minutes in between the train? No problem. It's fantastic. It's blue as hell. It's only sprinkling snow. You love it, right? Right. And the guy's waiting for me up there. Yeah. Yes. Car's there. Right. Just bring it back. Beautiful. It's like brand new. The thing's brand new. Right. You've seen it? Yes, I've bought it online. It's no problem. Guy'll hand it straight over, hand you the key, flash straight back. You'll be back here by five, six o'clock. Right. No problem. Right. Hey, listen. Henry, the guy's just handed me the keys for this car. It's a full-blown electric car. It's not... It's not... I thought it was hybrid. No, it's fully electric. Some sort of fancy jazz thing. Tesla? No, it's not a Tesla. Have you bought a Tesla? I thought I had. No, it's a Hyundai. Oh. Oh, same thing, anyway. I haven't paid him yet. It'll be all right. The uh, We'll work the price out when you get back here. Tell him we will sort it out. I've deal with him all the time. He's fine. The um, bring it straight back. Put him on the phone. Listen, my man's going to fly straight back. I'll pay you when I get back here. Okay, George. Aye, that's right. Tell him to get on his way. Tell him to get to the garage soon because it's uh, way down, way down on the charge. Have you not charged it up? Aye, nay. I've been driving around all day. I've come down here. Ah, uh, it's low. It's like thirty miles or something. The uh, the station's just down the street there. Ooh, oh, hey, he's right. Hey, listen, there's only thirty four miles on this on this thing here on the tank. It says on the charge thing. I know he's just told me. George has told me. Just go straight down to the charge point. It's fifteen minutes to charge him up. Two hundred fifty mile. Oh, it's, I think it's a three fifty mile, uh, mile that thing. It's uh, 60, 70 kilowatts or something. Takes 15 minutes. Just get a coffee while it charges. But I don't know how to... Ch All you do is press your card against the thing when you've plugged it in. Right. Just plug it in. Fast charge with the two things. Plug it in. Tap your card. Go for a coffee. Lock the card, obviously. And, uh, yeah, you're done 15 minutes. Have a coffee and peck at something. And uh, you'll be fine. You'll be you'll be halfway home. Charge it again at um, uh, Glasgow, or or you might get further. You might get further. That sounds a bit of a. You sure? Yeah. Just don't don't turn anything on. But my phone's low. My phone is low, and that's the the, the money's on that. Oh well, just charge it up when you get in the cafe there. Just put some charge in it. Right. Right. I don't like the sounds of this. Oh, stop panicking. Get to the charger. Excuse me. I've never I've never used one of these electric cars before. I don't know how. How do you do it? How do you actually... You just unplug there in the front. Take your plugs out. Put, plug it in. The dual thing, the fast charge. Right. But you're using the fast charge. Yes, my son is. He's gone to take the dogs a walk. Right. Is it going to be long? No, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Just go for a coffee and then you plug it in. That's 40 minutes in when I'm charging. 40 minutes? No, you'll need 50 minutes in that, at least. 50? What are you talking about? It says 15 minutes. No, 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 no. That's in the height of summer. Um, and that's... that's, that's uh, have, you not, have you not downloaded your apps? You know, your, your Zap Maps and stuff to get back and... Zap Map. What the hell's a zap map? 
it tells you where all the fastest charging points are if you want the real super duper fast chargers this one's a slow one but they get slower when it's cold you see up here it's minus four so they're really slow right what are you driving we're in an a8 right. what does that do 350 but with all the jingles and jangles and seats heated and god knows what it, it, it knocks it right down to a third a third yeah that's if you've got all the gadgets on jesus so so what do i have to do here you have to download the app of the thing onto your phone sync it oh listen i've never done this sync it with your phone just there it's just just press there where it says start i thought you just tap your card on it no 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 you've got to sync each one you know a lot of them you've got to sync them onto your phone so you put all your details in then you you pass the payment across or or just touch it with your phone right i still can't do this here let me do it for you let me do it what, what, is your son coming back at any time soon because we've been i've been messing about 20 minutes now and i can't even get this thing anywhere near sinking oh he's here he's been walking the dogs he's here gerald just show him how to do this i don't know how to do it i don't drive you see Christ, I wish I didn't drive. This is the first stop. I've been here half an hour. I've, I've, uh, yeah, it's simple. Just to, it's This is like a crypto. This is simple if you work with 007 and your name is Q. Or you work for MI5 or MI6. This is simple. I haven't got any Zap maps. I haven't got anything. You haven't. Have you not, have you not actually planned your route before setting off? No. I've just picked it up. There's only 34 miles on it. Ooh. One thing you must, must do with ZapMap is plan your route. And then you, you download another. ZapMap will sync to your car. And your car will, will automatically just, just sat-nav you to where the stations are. The ones that are working. What do you mean the ones that are working? Are some of them not working? <sighs> Oh, the sixty percent not working. Why? Well, I don't know. They just go off. That's why you've got to have Zap Map, or Tesla, or Da Di Da. And how much is it? Because it says it's about five pence. No, 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 no. Not for the superchargers like these. These are seventy-seven pence. Seventy-seven p. That means just hang on a minute. I thought these things were about cheap to run. I thought they were the cheapest thing on the planet, these things. They are, if you're at home and you're charging, you know, from your, you know, your, your uh, Rainbow Warrior type house with, with all the uh, solar panels and stuff that, like we've got. Right. I haven't got any solar panels, haven't you? No. Haven't you got an electric car? Why have you bought an electric car? It's not for me. I haven't even got a charge point. I'm still on gas and, you know, and um, oil burners and stuff. Oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Well, I know that. What, why is everybody green dreamish and uh, sort of crypto and nerdish and... Well, I'm not a nerd. Well, you're fairly good at all these geeky things and I'm, I'm already lost. I can't sync this thing. You've had to sync it for me because it's so complex. Are they all so complex? Yeah, they're fairly... They do take some sorting out. But once you've got it... You know, onto your phone. What if your phone goes on the blink? Well, then you, you, you're screwed, really. Oh, my God. You see, I'm used to just putting diesel in, petrol in, paying at the counter cash and driving off. Oh, no, you're going to find it a little bit. So just tell me, because I'm supposed to be getting back at some time in six hours from here. Where are you going? Well, I'm going down to York. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you'll be at least 12. At least. Why? Because you've got an hour per stop with it being cold. And, you know, some of these charging points are very... Some of them are quite antiquated and they don't, they don't charge fast. And they're out of order, most of them. You, know, you can go to Morrison's, Lidl's and all over the place. Lidl? You mean you've got to go into the town centre? Oh, yeah. 
if you're not on the motorways and they're not, you know, then there's no points there. You have to drive into the town or, or the hotels, you know, um, Holiday Inn and stuff, and they charge quite a lot of money there. It's nearly a pound a time if you're not careful. 55p at some of them. Oh, this sounds horrendous. So once this has got 250 or 300 miles, so long as I don't use anything, well, you'll freeze to death if you don't put the heaters on. It's, you know, it is minus five, six. You'll have to have some sort of it, or your feet will freeze. Oh, I don't like the sound of this. I'll program you from my phone, from Zap Map, into your Google Map. Just give me a phone. I'll do it through Google Maps and I'll put them all in for you where you've got to stop. And then you're fine, you're away. Okay. No problem? No problem. Just don't use too much gas or anything. Right. Hey, listen. I'm having a nightmare with this car. Why? What's the matter with it? What do you mean, what's the matter with it? You've got to, you've got to have a crypto brain on you to actually just work the machine. I can't work the machines. Don't be ridiculous. Just put your card against them. You don't put your card against them. And I'm on a phone, don't forget. You've got to sync your phone, sync the car to the phone with Zap Map or some Tesla this or da da da. It's just, oh, it's incredibly difficult. Oh, well, I'm going to have to read up about these then. Well, it, I haven't got time to read up about them. I'm in the middle of the moorlands here. The guy's programmed a thing in that just hope to God it goes right. Yes, yeah, so do I. Well, you're in a warm office. It's minus six here if this thing breaks down. And there's nobody about. You know, this. all I'm looking at is some sheep. I've just had to look in the boot and dig out the, the, the charging points in case I have to stop. Uh, you know, if it breaks down, I'm going to have to try and find somebody's house and pay them. Good idea. What do you mean, good idea? I'm a good idea. That is, that's a slow charge. It may take four hours. Well, yeah, but if you're in dire straits, don't worry, you'll be fine. No, I won't be. F Hello? Oh. Right, here we go. Hello? Hey, listen, I've got ten miles left on this thing. Ten miles. And I I can't find this place. You're close now. You're close. Close. It's 10 o'clock at night. I've still got f three hours to go. What do you mean I'm close? I'm going to be back at one o'clock. I set off at six o'clock this morning for a simple job to Edinburgh. No, no, no. No. Oh, uh, I see what you mean. What are you doing? Well, I'm watching TV. So you've had some... Some grub and you're watching TV with your feet up. Right, marvellous. But while you're watching whatever it is, Coronation Street... No, it's Emmerdale Farm. Well, whatever you're watching, I am still freezing my tits off here trying to find this, this point at Lidl to charge again. Phone me back if you have any problems. You're not far away, I'll come and fetch you. Right. Listen. Hello. Hello. You'll have to come and pick me up. Oh, I can't. I'm in my pyjamas and my dressing gown. You'll have to come and pick me up. I'm stranded here at this little. And it's freezing cold. They've kicked me out of the shop now. I still can't get this thing working. I can't sink it. There must be somebody about that can do it. There's nobody. There's six, there's six points here and you can't get into them. Oh, it's here. Hang on. There's somebody here. Do you now to work these? Yes. It's took me half an hour, but I do now to work them. I've been in that coffee bar there trying to work out how to do it. Can you do it for me as well? Yes. I'll see you in two hours. Right. This is a nightmare, this. These don't do anything like the mileys they're talking about. If you switch on anything like the electric seats or anything, or even have a plug your phone in, it's, it slices it down by half if you've got any gear running. And with the lights on and the seats, well, don't put the lights on. What are you talking about? Don't put the lights on. It's pitch dark. There's nobody on the road. You'll be fine. They have the little lights underneath. They're like candles. I know they are. I can't see anything. It's pitch dark. People are flashing me non-stop. 
I've just done it to get here. I'm down to 10 miles. Just charge it up. We'll see you. Oh, listen, don't. On no account am I ever picking one of these up again. It's like some sort of catch-22 that you're playing at. It's like running and getting some sort of cryptic clue in a hostage release situation like they used to do in the old movies. I'm running from pump to pump, each with a cryptic clue. It's like playing a game of, you know that rally game you used to play? It's it's ten times worse than playing rally, you know, you, where you're driving around picking clues up from pubs. But this the here, you don't pick clues up from pubs and you're not getting pissed. You're not having a good time. You're having a terrible, terrible time and your heart's in your mouth. I'm not being dramatic. Listen, it's going to be one o'clock before I get back. I've, I've done nearly 20 hours in this thing. The, no, they're not. A, no, they're not a good car. These are a little shopping car. These are glo- this is a glorified milk cart you know like the milk carts they used to have it's a glorified one of them with some leather in it and god knows all these gadgets that you can't switch on all these gadgets i know it's fully loaded i can see it's fully loaded but i can't use any of anything i can't use sat nav i can't use anything i can't even switch the lights on the radio nothing it's been the most miserable drive back on the planet just listen What do you think of these? He's got a new Q8 here, electric. What do you think? I'm telling the here and now, lad. If I could give that back tomorrow, I'd give it him back. I've got 75,000 quid in that. And it's fucking useless. See what I mean? He's got 75,000 pounds in that car. And it's doing, it's, it's doing, I don't know, 60 to the charge. And it costs £48 to charge them up. And I'm telling you what they are. They're a nightmare.